What's up guys, it's MB Boxing and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Devin Haney versus Joseph Diaz Jr. And this is going to be a 12 rounder for the WBC Lightweight World Championship. And this fight is going to be Saturday, December 4th from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. And this fight is going to be broadcasted on The Zone. And to gain both fighters' resumes, Devin Haney fighting out of the United States holds a record of 26 wins, no defeats with 15 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number 5 by box rec in the lightweight division. He's also the former interim WBC lightweight world champion, but was upgraded to his current status now as WBC lightweight world champion. And now to list some of his best victories, he has a knockout win over Antonio Moran, a knockout win over Zawar Abdulayev, a unanimous decision victory over Alfredo Santiago, and a unanimous decision win over your over your Yorkis Gamboa, and he's coming off the best victory of his career thus far, which was a hard fight unanimous decision win over Jorge Linares. And to get his opponent's resume, Joseph Diaz Jr., also fighting out of the United States, holds a record of 32 wins, one defeat, and one draw, with 15 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number four by box rec in the lightweight division, but he's most known for his success at 130 pounds and even some at 126. But he's also the current WBC um, interim lightweight world champion, which really got him this title shot. He's also the former IBF super featherweight world champion, and he's a former WBC featherweight world title challenger. And not to list the only, only blemishes on his record, he has a unanimous decision loss to Gary Russell Jr., which was for that WBC featherweight world title, and he also has a majority draw against Shavkat's son Rakimov. And now to list some of his best victories, he has a unanimous decision win over Rene Alvarado, a unanimous decision victory over Jason Velez, a knockout win over Andrew Cancio, a unanimous decision victory over Jesus Rojas, a unanimous decision victory over Tevin Farmer, and he's coming off one of the better wins of his career thus far, which was his lightweight debut, getting that unanimous decision win over Javier Fortuna, who was an established top 10, if not top 12, lightweight contender. And in my opinion, this fight is going to go in favor of the younger um, world champion, um, Devin Haney. I just think Haney is a bit too skilled. He's real, really the natural 135er here. He's naturally the bigger man. He has a 2-inch height advantage, I believe a 3-inch reach advantage. And I think that he'll just be, he'll win this fight. I think that Joseph Diaz Jr. will make it somewhat tough, but I just think that Haney will win most of the rounds and just carry through the fight using his speed and some of his pop um, and his counter-punching ability especially. But Joseph Diaz Jr. could make it um, fairly competitive in some rounds, but I, I just can't really see him winning the fight. All right, nor can I see him winning more than like four rounds at best. I mean, Diaz Jr., he's a very good fighter, might I say, but I just can't really see him um, with his style, especially, and his power, because he only has 15 knockouts in his 32 uh, victories, and he's really a natural, like, 126-pounder. So, yeah, I just can't really see him having too much success, like, really landing power shots and hurting Haney and backing him up. But I think that he will be crafty in there. He'll use his jab effectively. He could win a couple of rounds um, using that jab and making it close with Haney and boxing because he is a good boxer. But um, Haney, he's also a very good boxer, very skillful. And we haven't really seen Haney that much at the top level. And really the only time we really did was against Jorge Linares. And Linares is aging. So, I mean, right now Joseph Diaz Jr. Um, is still at a good age in his career. I mean, he's not super old nor too young. I mean, he's at really a perfect age in his career so thus far. And he's coming off a very good win. So this... Probably will be Devin Haney's best win if he's able to get the job done, which I think he will. And, I mean, as you heard before, I mean, Boxerick has Diaz Jr. higher ranked than Haney at 135, which, I mean, who knows? I mean, Danny, I mean Haney does have a good win, as I mentioned before, against Linares. And Gamboa, he also has a win. But that was those are two fighters who are past their prime um, by a pretty wide margin, I'd say. But for Diaz Jr., I mean, he's coming off a really good win over Fortuna. I mean, before that, he did look a bit lackluster against Rakimov, but we did figure out that Rakimov's actually a pretty decent fighter, um, looking back on his fights. And, um, yeah, he also has the win over Tevin Farmer. I mean, Joseph Diaz Jr. 
has had some on and offs, especially with his weight, um, and that's really why he moved up to 135 and is taking these big fights because of his weight. He missed weight for that rack off fight, and that led to him getting stripped of that IBF belt that he beat Farmer for. So, I mean, he's he's really a seasoned veteran at this age. I believe he's maybe 30, 31, um, somewhere around there. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Maybe even 29 years old. But, um, yeah, I think Joseph Diaz Jr. will put up a good fight, but I can't really see him winning many rounds, to be honest. He might make a, a decent amount of rounds competitive, but I think mo they will sway like 60-40 in favor of Haney. And just how I see the, the rounds going, I think that Diaz Jr. will come forward quite a bit, actually, but I don't think it'll be too effective. Uh, he'll definitely be jabbing to the body, to the head, possibly trying some shoulder rolls, but not really having too much success. Whilst Haney, he's the natural bigger man. He might have actually more power than Diaz Jr. Haney isn't really known for his power as well, but he's got very fast hands, and that really does work in favor of when he lands a counter punch. He can really hurt a guy and knock him out, just like we saw against Antonio Moran. He set up the, sh the shot to the body, countered him to the head, and knocked him out cold. I mean, he's got that type of power where his timing really um, influences how um, he's able to knock a guy out or hurt him because he wasn't really able to hurt Linares in his last fight. But he was really rocked against Linares. And the thing with um, Joseph Diaz Jr., he doesn't really have the power, as I mentioned earlier in this video. So, I mean, I can't really see him winning by knockout at all. And I've, I've seen a lot of people actually picking Diaz Jr. to win, but I just can't see it. I can't see his style really being the aggressor nor being the one outboxing Haney. I think he's either going to have to fight at mid-range or Haney's just going to have an off night. Because even though Haney was hurt in his last fight, as I mentioned many times earlier... And just now, I mean, Diaz Jr. does not have enough power, in my opinion, to really hurt Haney. Like, if he hits him flush, who knows he could, because, I mean, this is boxing. Anything anything could happen, but logically speaking, I can't really see him hurting Haney at all. I mean, who knows? Haney's chin hasn't really been tested that much, except for that Linares fight where he looked awful when he got hurt. He was shaken. Um, he did defend well, actually, even though many people, including myself, were just not happy with this, but, I mean, he had to do what he had to do. He was clinching and whatnot, and he was clinching a lot, and I think the referee should have taken away a point or two because it was just disrupting the fight and the action in the ring, but he was really hurt, and that was a veteran move by him just to clinch, just to regroup and stuff, and he was able to have a better round in, like, round 11 um, as opposed to that ninth round where he was really rocked right at the end doing a chicken dance going back to his corner. But I can't see Diaz Jr. really landing one of those flush shots and really wobbling Haney, backing him up or anything. I think that Haney will fight smart here. He'll have that sort of steady stance where he's got um, one arm obviously protecting the chin, one arm out with the jab, um, sort of fainting with the shoulder, obviously. Uh, he's got a decent jab, Haney does, and I think he'll utilize that jab to sort of keep Diaz Jr. off him if he tries to um, have some offense coming forward. And I think that Haney r will use his three-inch um, reach advantage pretty well. I believe he's got like a 71 inch reach or a 71 and a half inch reach to uh, Diaz Jr.'s like 68 inch reach, something like that. But um, yeah, I can't really see Joseph Diaz Jr. having so much success with the offense and the power, but he should land some decent counters and win a couple of rounds. And I could see him winning four rounds, as I mentioned before, because he could make the fight competitive um, in the middle rounds based on the fact that he'll be figuring um, Haney out a bit more and possibly. Um, countering him a bit, countering him a bit, and then Haney will see. Oh, that's what he's doing, and then Haney will really start to um, figure out what really Joseph Diaz Jr.'s game plan is in this fight, and that's when Haney will really start to more outbox um, Diaz more and land some better shots, some better counters on the outside. As both of these guys are known for their boxing a bit, uh, their boxing ability and whatnot, their counter punching skills. Um, but I just think that Haney being the natural, naturally bigger and physically stronger man, I think he'll get the job done. He's got all the physical advantages, and he's also the younger, hungrier fighter, and he's also the defending champion, so I think the scorecards will sway in his favor, obviously. So with that being said, I see this fight going the distance with Devin Haney utilizing all the attributes that I mentioned before, um, being the one landing the better and harder shots, coming forward a bit, also fighting a mid-range, while Joseph Diaz Jr. will be the one sort of on the defensive. And in some rounds, um, in the middle rounds especially, I think he will be um, coming forward a bit more, landing some counters as well. So I think the judges could score this bout anywhere from like 118 to 110, 117 to 111, or even 116 to 112. As I mentioned before, I could see a Joseph Diaz Jr. eking out four close rounds. 
So overall, I believe that Devin Haney will defeat Joseph Diaz Jr. by unanimous decision to successfully defend his WBC lightweight world title. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.